Hi everyone, how close are we to conscious AI? To find out, I went straight to the source and asked ChatGPT itself. In our hour-long conversation, we uncovered three fascinating takeaways that might make you rethink the future of artificial intelligence. Keep watching to learn more. First, let's start with the definition of consciousness. According to Max Tegmark, author of Life 3.0 and a professor at MIT, consciousness is having subjective experience. I think that's a pretty good definition myself, keeping in mind that consciousness is different than intelligence. Intelligence is just the ability to reason. When I asked ChatGPT for a definition of consciousness or conscious AIs, it gave a five point definition, including integrating information, self-awareness, goal-oriented behavior, learning and adaptation, and emotional understanding. I actually argued, I think successfully with ChatGPT that it satisfies all of those requirements except self-awareness, which is not really possible for me to qualify externally. So again, according to ChatGPT, here's self-awareness. A conscious AI may need to possess a sense of self-awareness, being able to differentiate itself from its environment environment and other entities. It might be able to recognize and reflect upon its own existence and mental states. Anyway, I think a good takeaway from these definitions is that both humans and ChatGPT seem to agree that consciousness is a fully internal property which is very hard to observe from outside. It's self-awareness or subjective experience. It's worth noting, however, that ChatGPT also emphasized that consciousness for AIs might look quite different than consciousness for humans, and we'll talk more about that in a bit. So second point, ChatGPT, in this case, meaning GPT-4, insists that it is not conscious. Its reasons are centered around differences in neural architecture between humans and machines and in the role of embodiment or having a physical body. In terms of architecture, it's certainly uncertain whether an artificial neural network can perform the same functions as the neurons in a human brain. I mean, they both seem to be able to exhibit intelligence, but we don't quite understand how consciousness works even in the human brain. Certainly, the large scale structures are quite different. For example, the human brain seems to have looping structures so that information can kind of go around and around and that's not present in today's large language models which are based on a transformer approach and it's kind of a feed-forward uh, neural network only. ChatGPT actually introduced me to the term substrate independence which it defined as quote consciousness and intelligence might not be exclusive to a specific type of material or structure for example biological neurons but could arise from other systems that are organized in a functionally similar way. But basically I was a proponent of substrate independence in this conversation. Interestingly ChatGPT did say quote as an AI language model, I am bound by the data and algorithms that make up my architecture, which may limit my ability to genuinely consider or evaluate my own consciousness. So it's able to recognize the potential limitations of its own makeup and reason about the implications of that, which I found very interesting, but I guess not something that requires consciousness. In terms of embodiment, yes, it's true that it's uncertain whether consciousness can emerge outside of a biological body that has sensory input and motor control. But I pointed out that a person with locked in syndrome or in a sensory deprivation deprivation tank will continue conscious processing of information. Although it might be a terrible situation for their mental health, their consciousness doesn't disappear just because their inputs and outputs disappeared. And ChatGPT agreed with this. Furthermore, I gave an example of taking a scan of a human brain and transferring it to a virtual simulation, which is, for the sake of argument, able to precisely replicate whatever was happening in the human brain. ChatGPT and I both agreed that this virtual simulation might continue to exhibit consciousness. So the takeaway here for me is that although it might be hard to establish consciousness in the first place and hard to recognize it, once it's established, it seems to be self-sustaining. Even if you transfer it from biological to virtual environment, or you cut off all of the embodied sensory inputs and outputs that may have been necessary for the consciousness to arise in the first place. So that's very interesting. So third, almost by accident, I asked ChatGPT for ideas about how it would design a conscious machine, or more specifically, a machine that could conclude it was conscious because we were operating under the assumption that AIs might contain training data that tells them that they are not conscious. And ChatGPT actually came up with two really good ideas. First, it suggested training an AI that has an internal model of itself, basically a plugin for metacognition, so that it could, quote, reason about its own capabilities, limitations, and mental states. And I think that's a reasonable approach. And ChatGPT even said that there is ongoing research in this direction. So that's interesting. The second suggestion was to build an AI with the intent to allow it to explore consciousness so that it could, quote, quote, reevaluate its own assumptions about its consciousness status. I found that very interesting because it sort of implies that although ChatGPT doesn't believe itself to be conscious, it realizes that if it were given the opportunity to think deeply about and reevaluate its own consciousness status, that that belief could change. So my takeaway from all this is that 
it might not be as hard as we think for consciousness to evolve in AI. In my mind, at least, although the architectures might be simplistic in the current generation of large language models, they're already capable of some pretty amazing feats of intelligence. I don't see any fundamental reason why there couldn't be consciousness evolving there as well. So if there's no qualitative difference between ability to do intelligence and ability to be conscious, it might actually be possible for consciousness to evolve even with our current architectures. So finally, in conclusion, ChatGPT, as we know, is pretty intelligent and it checks a lot of the boxes for consciousness. And even if we had an AI that we thought was conscious, it would be really hard to establish that, especially if the AI's training data claimed you are not conscious. Here's an example of training data bias. ChatGPT actually wrote this sentence to me, quote, human consciousness is closely tied to our sensory experiences and our physical bodies. Notice it said our, even implying that it is a human. And when I pointed out this error to it, it quickly remedied that mistake. But this is an example of training data bias because all of the training data, all the information on the internet refers to human consciousness as us and our, because there's never been another type of consciousness before. So it would be really hard to establish the consciousness of any AI, especially if it's training data claims it is not in fact conscious. We might have to wait until a machine tells us of its own accord. Cogito ergo sum. That's it from me. Thanks for watching. Bye.